Jana in action. TRBD. Kazi kwa nguvu. TRBD. Hustle every day. Hustle every day. Hustle every day. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Vijana in action. GIBD. Vijana in action. Uh, Saseni Vijana. My name is Judy Wandia, uh, solar entrepreneur, Kabete. This is what we make in it a Kib Light. So Kib Light is a small solar torch assemb assembled here in Kabete. Uh, we started the project back in Kibera, but uh, we had to move due to some unavoidable circumstances. Kib Light initially doesn't come like this. It comes in parts. We have to assemble all these pieces together and come with a complete product. And the complete product is this torch here. Uh, I was a member of uh, Kibera Community Youth Program. We used to do things to do with solar, but due to high demand, people used to, started saying that they wanted things that they could use for lighting because to look at Kuskiza radio. A guy from Switzerland named Rez and Rez came trained us on how to assemble these pieces. The pieces are the LEDs, the battery holders, the diodes and the panel. So we, we assemble each piece together step by step and then make these boxes. So we came up with this alafu tunazia to Switzerland and Upper Kenya up here. My passion comes like when I used when I got trained, I was like uh, I didn't have so much passion. But when we went to uh, the village, Buko Sori, South Nyanza, I saw so many people like they have to walk like 20 to 30 kilometers to go get kerosene and they can they can't afford that kerosene for a whole month so I, I had I had to develop that passion like I have these people must have must embrace this light they must have it in their homes so that is where I got my passion our products and services are we have this keep lights whereby uh, a kid, a kid in school can embrace it and read it, go with it to school and read it anywhere, even in the bush and as a somanai. And then we have this one here, this, this is a radio. It is a radio, a charger and a lamp. So whenever you are maybe gone camping, you can listen to a radio with it, you can charge your phone with it and you can also use it as a torch. This is how it charges. This is, it has an, an, a DC and a direct current output. We also have a torch. The advantage of it is it has a hand-driven charger. And it's waterproof. It has three stages. The first stage lights number one. The second, the three lights. And when you're stuck in a highway, I want to repair your car. You can put it on the bonnet and then shows the signal that you need, you're stuck and you need help. It goes for 1,200. To get this box, we have to start from the other production side. I'll show you how we, how we do it. So, 
this is where we produce the boxes. This is a neem tree, it comes from Mombasa and it is approved by Greenpeace, we use it. So, it comes like this, a whole rod. We have to cut it into the size of the panel. Like that, we measure, cut it, we use this machine to cut, and then after cutting, we use this machine to drill the holes, like, I also do this, it's not only Ken who does it, I also do the boxes sometimes. After drilling, we use this machine to groove. This one here. This is how it's done. After that, we have the the final final touches where we like do the furnishing. We use these machines here. So we furnish them and then we, we use varnish to polish them. This one is completely assembled. This one is not. We solder the pieces together, all the pieces together. This is the panel. This is the LED. Uh, this is the battery holder here. This is the switch. And this is a, my, my tool. This is my weapon, the soldering gun. This is what I use to assemble all these pieces together. And this is the soldering wire that we use. We put it in the box here like this and then you have a complete product and we have you have your lights so this is our toolbox this is what you use when you go for installations the equipments are all here these are all our equipments that we use we don't need to borrow and this is our drilling machine when we are doing we are drilling a, a mabati or a, a wall this is what we use we did some installations at sarah obama's house Obama, Senator Obama High School and also Senator Obama Secondary School. For lighting, six to eight hours of lighting without going off. The batteries last for five years. The panels, 15 years. The LEDs, five years. The LEDs means light emitting diodes. And the good thing about them, they are the only smallest bulbs that can produce so much light. The unique thing about Solar Africa, it's the only company that makes small solar torches and they are very much affordable to the people. That is the most unique thing about Solar Africa. Something else unique about Solar Africa, we also have spare parts here, where that we can repair the lamps when they're spoiled. And also, we also create a good rapport with our clients. They come and, and they appreciate what we do. How do you retain a client. For you to be able to retain a client, you will need to identify what makes your clients tick. You will need to have a very good understanding of your client's needs. Uh, you will need to define your client's needs and expectations. And this is very important when it comes to service products especially, because service products are not tangible. And therefore, you will need to know uh, what it is that your client expects from you as a service provider. Once you do that, then you will need to design a niche product that meets your customer's need 
and expectations. I get inspired from like everything around me, like the renewable energy. Once someone embraces renewable energy, I get so much happy like, wow, this guy knows that this thing is good for their health. It's not a health hazard. Uh, we do collaborations with uh, Megasol in Switzerland. The, that is the company that gives us our panels, our LEDs and uh, the batteries. We also advertise ourselves through the exhibitions that we've been going. Usually we don't distribute them. Our clients come for them here in Kabete. Our business is located in Kabete, near Kabete Police Station. When you get to Kabeta Police Station, you can give us a call and then we can pick you so as you come see our product and what we do. Things don't come easily. You have to work hard. We used to sell this thing for 3,500 shillings. Right now it goes for 500. That is a very big range of drop. So in business, when you're doing business, expect anything like profit and losses. The whole country to go the solar way. Every household in Kenya to embrace each renewable energy. We are hoping to expand our like a small workshop so it becomes a big production unit. We get big panels, batteries, so as we can be selling them here, here in Kabet and here in Kenya for people. Because people are asking, uh, are you only selling these small panels? Can't we get like big panels? We're telling them, yeah, we'll get them as soon as we expand our workshop. What I can advise the other youths out there, especially young women like me, is to be go-getters. Don't wait for things to come your way. And if you have a passion of doing something, do it. If, like I have a passion of doing solar, I'm doing it. I'm not waiting for someone to come and tell me like, you don't, you're not supposed to do this, you're not supposed to. I'm doing it because I love it. And out of all the critics in the world for men, like a woman can't do what a man can do. I can do it better, even Ken knows. I beat him in so many things. Be a go-getter. Don't wait for things to come. Go get them. Go together. Saseni Vijana, I'm Judy Wandia from Solar Africa. This is what we make. Now you're watching Vijana in Action. Vijana in Action.